why is it the MSN is and the liberal Democrats only care when Trump seems to have broke God's law they seem to be like the Pharisees of old the definition of a Pharisee is a member of a Jewish sect distinguished by strict observance of traditional and written law and commonly held to have pretension to superior sanctity. Sound familiar? <clears throat> now they break God's law every day. We all do. None is righteous. No, not one. The difference? We are forgiven. Our sins are washed away by the blood of Jesus. Praise God. The Bible tells us whosoever believes in Christ and is baptized will be saved. The problem with these hypocritical dims and libs, they don't believe. Let alone have most of them been baptized. Yet when it comes to President Trump and his past sins and let me add legal in man's law sins they bring out the Torah the Old Testament the Holy Bible well you know what else is in the Old Testament the Holy Bible whore and that's exactly what Stormy Daniels is, is a whore. Here is the definition of dictionary.com of a whore. And the number one definition is this right here. A person who engages in promiscuous sex for money is also known as a prostitute. Disparaging and offensive, a person who is sexually promiscuous. Also known as a whore. Stormy Daniels. That's how she made her living. Now, <clears throat> she may or may not have had sex or had an affair with Trump the one night. She even claims it was just one night. I firmly believe that that's not the fact. Trump's a germaphobe. I don't believe that man would touch that whore with a 10 foot pole let alone his penis but that's neither here nor there between him and God and if he did we all know that Trump was a whoremonger before he was saved someone who cohorts with tours a leecher and a panderer a whoremonger that's what he was there's no getting around it it's what he was He's not anymore. It's what he was. He's forgiven. Well, what the liberals don't understand is the word forgiven. What the liberals don't understand is once you've been saved, of course you're not going to be perfect and you're still going to sin and you're still going to mess up, but you are washed in the blood of Christ, which means those sins with that whore is washed away. Those sins of cheating on your wife is washed away. Not that it was ever right, but... But unsaved, unchristian people do those things, and so do saved Christians. But again, the difference is, is we're forgiven, and we don't pound on those sins. We don't drag it through the mud. We don't drag it through the TV. We don't drag it through lawyers. So a whore who's washed up and can't make money whoring anymore can make more money on a book telling tales of one night with... Mr. Donald Trump, now president. These laws they themselves do not follow. Laws they have broken. Laws that are just laws, but all have broken at least three or four in their lifetime. The things they forget or don't care to understand is, wait for it, Trump is a saved Christian. He is forgiven in God's eyes because he believes 
in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Romans 10, 9. They, on the other hand, don't. Yet, like the Pharisees and the self-righteous person, the hypocrites of old and of new, the Jews of old, I have no idea whether or not Trump and that whore, again, I'll show you the definition so you know I'm not misstating it. I don't have any idea whether or not Trump and that whore, Stormy Daniels, I'll call, him, call her Horry Daniels from now on, had a sexual relationship. I don't care. It's his sin. It's between him and God. He broke no man's law in doing so, except in some states where it would be illegal to commit adultery. If he did, was it right? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. It was not right. No more right than Kennedy or Clinton or any other POTUS, president that is, POTUS, or man or woman that have done the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. It happens. It is wrong, yes. Does it violate biblical law? <laughs> yes. Do we as Christians understand forgiveness? Yes, we do. Or we should. If we don't, then because if we don't, then we're no better than the Pharisees. We're no better than the people Paul preached against. We're no better than Paul when he was Saul. If we don't understand forgiveness. My point. Do as I say, not as I do. Is the act of most hypocrites. These folks are trying to make a big scandal out of Horry Daniels thing. Now they went so far as to arrest Trump's lawyer that was fighting it. Or not arrest him, excuse me. They they uh, raided his office and confiscated his records. Mueller did that. How in the world does that have to do with Ru Russian collusion? I have no idea. But I digress. They do the same thing on any given weekend, weekday, evening. They don't think twice about getting drunk, telling a lie, or killing a baby with an abortion. All sins. All sins are against God's law. For whosoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles in one point has become guilty of them all. James said that. And not against the law. Though they should be. It's not against man's law. It should be. No one is clean of sin. Not yet. But some of us will be. When we enter the gates of heaven. The things in most of these Pharisees won't see heaven. Because they don't believe. Therefore they are unforgiven. I.e. unsaved. But Mr. Trump does. Mr. Trump talks about. God, Mr. Trump, thanks God. Mr. Trump, God blesses us and the country. Mr. Trump goes to church and he believes because he was saved during his campaign. And I wholeheartedly believe before that he was not saved. He was a fleshful man, 100%. You can't tell me any different. But he's saved now. And he will see heaven because he does believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Therefore, he is forgiven. But my question is, you made it this far. I want to ask you this question. Are you forgiven? Are you saved? You stone casters, you writers, reporters, leakers, talking heads, need to give that some thought before it's too late. No one is promised the next breath. But you are promised heaven. The cost is free. It's free for the believing. It's free for believing that Jesus Christ is your Savior. It's free for the believing in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ because he was sent here, God's only begotten Son, to die 
and wash away your sins so that you would be forgiven. That's all. It's all cost is your is your relieving of, in that. And I know, I know what y'all are saying. I know what you're saying. But God's word was written to confound the wise, and it does, and it, it's confounding them even more every day. Well, listen, folks. I pray you're saved, and if you're not, get a hold of me. Watch my videos. Ask me what it takes. All it takes is the believing and the confessing by your mouth that the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior and that you believe. <coughs> That's all it takes. But thanks for listening. Thanks for viewing this video if you made it this far. We'll pray for you as always. But you pray for us because just like anyone else, we need it. And we'll pray for the whole world together. God bless you one and all. Pastor Kelly's out of here.